Once, in a quaint village nestled between misty mountains, there lived an old sage named Master Yuki. The townsfolk revered him for his boundless wisdom and his ever-present, serene smile. Many sought to learn the secret to a happy life from him. One day, a young and restless villager named Koji approached Master Yuki. Master, he asked with earnestness, what is the secret to a happy life? I have traveled far and wide, seeking happiness in wealth and adventure, but I feel an emptiness inside. Master Yuki gazed into Koji's eyes, his smile unwavering. Ah, young one, he began, the secret to a happy life lies not in the outer world, but within yourself. Happiness is not a distant destination to be chased, but a journey to be experienced in the present moment. Perplexed, Koji inquired, but how can I find happiness within myself? Master Yuki replied, still your mind like a calm pond, and let go of desires that cause suffering. Embrace the beauty of simplicity and gratitude for what you have. Be mindful of your thoughts, for they shape your reality. Cultivate kindness and compassion, for they will sow the seeds of joy in your heart. Koji listened intently, feeling a newfound sense of purpose. He started spending time in nature, observing the dance of leaves in the wind, and the symphony of birds at dawn. He discovered the joy of helping others and began to cherish every encounter, finding meaning in even the smallest of gestures. As days turned into months, Koji's heart bloomed like a lotus flower. His once restless spirit became calmer, and a radiant smile graced his face. The villagers noticed the transformation and asked him, What happened, Koji? How did you find such happiness? With humility, Koji shared the wisdom he had received from Master Yuki. He spoke of the power of mindfulness, of being fully present in each moment, and how it had transformed his perspective on life. The villagers, eager to experience the same happiness, gathered around him, listening intently to his words. Inspired by Koji's newfound joy, the villagers started practicing mindfulness in their daily lives. They learned to appreciate the simple pleasures, like the warmth of the sun on their skin or the laughter of children playing in the fields. Grudges were forgiven, and old wounds began to heal as compassion and forgiveness replaced animosity. The village began to flourish with a new sense of harmony and happiness. Strangers passing through would be enchanted by the contagious joy that filled the air, and many chose to stay, drawn by the allure of this peaceful community. Word of the village's transformation reached far and wide, and people from neighboring towns came seeking the secret to a happy life. Master Yuki, still with his serene smile, would welcome them and share the wisdom he had accumulated over the years. As more people embraced the teachings of mindfulness and compassion, a profound shift occurred in the region. The once hostile and competitive villages began to collaborate and support one another. Trade and friendship blossomed, leading to an era of prosperity and contentment. In time, the village itself became a beacon of tranquility and wisdom. People would journey from distant lands to seek the guidance of Master Yuki and to immerse themselves in the peaceful ambience of the village. They came in search of the elusive secret to a happy life, only to realize that it was a timeless truth residing within their own hearts. And so, the village thrived, not because it held the key to an extraordinary existence, but because it showed that an extraordinary existence could be found in the ordinary. The secret to a happy life was within reach of all who dared to look inward and embrace the present moment with a heart full of love and gratitude. As the years passed, the village became a living parable, a reminder to all that happiness is not a distant treasure to be hunted, but a precious jewel concealed within, waiting to be uncovered by those who seek it with a pure and open heart. And so, the tale of the village with the secret to a happy life continued to spread, inspiring generations to come.